how much does it cost to build and launch a rocket that goes up to the height of four kilometers? That is four times the height of Burj Khalifa, a rocket that contains all its important components, like the nose cone, the body frame, the rocket motors, fins, and the recovery system. How much do you think does it cost? Raise your hands. Anyone with 50,000 rupees? Anyone with one lakh rupees? Anyone with two lakhs? Fine. Let me tell you, it takes around 6,000 Indian rupees, that is less than 100 US dollars, to build a rocket. What all qualifications are required to build a rocket? Does it require master, double master, or a PhD? Nothing. It just requires basic math and physics. So ladies and gentlemen, we have never been so closer to having the stars in our grasp, yet we sit on Earth. When I was a child, I always looked at the night sky and wondered, how would we be able to touch the stars that lay beyond? Would we ever? This curiosity made me strive hard to break the shackles that kept us grounded. I believe many of you had the same emotions when you looked at sky. I also believe many of you here wants to soar through it. Then why such intense human emotions never got materialized on a larger scale? Why the idea of rocket building is still so crazy? In this world, where every other kid wants to explore the space, there is an apparent lack of knowledge and ignorance around the rocket science. That is why we kept our Rocket Club's brainstorming session open for the common public. In one of these sessions, there were a few electronics engineering students who showed their keen interest in rocket designing. But when we asked them to join, they said, we don't know how to do this. This is not our background. You all may be wondering that he would not have any idea as it was not their background. Let me tell you, once I was in need of rocket fuel, and so I asked for help from an aerospace engineering student. This time, I got a disheartening reply. He said, we haven't studied it yet. People think rocket building is out of their league. But this has not dampened the spirit of India, as our prospect of space exploration is in the right hands. ISRO, founded by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, has done an incredible job over the last two decades in Indian space expedition and have put India in international space race. Compared to nearly 1,200 billion rupees budget of NASA, ISRO gets funding of just 90 billion rupees. Yet, it stole the headlines by the successful launch of Mars Orbiter mission that is also known as Mangalyaan in 2014. Earlier this year, ISRO launched 104 satellites in a go and set a world record. So future seems extremely bright for ISRO and Indian space expedition. Why ISRO has been able to do it single-handedly? It's just because it works as a lean startup that gives it the benefit of being cost-effective. But at the end of the day, ISRO is also a government organization, and it has some institutional and financial constraints that keeps them away from trying some unconventional methods. This has resulted in the nationwide lack of creativity and research in rocket science. Thus, it is said that it is the first sign towards the bigger revolution only if you embrace the opportunity and push the frontier. Let me give you an example of coding. There was a time where programs were primitive and codings used to end in just few lines. Well, today, Google uses two billion lines of code. In the last 20 years, the software technology has evolved to become an unnatural force of nature, and this has been possible only when coding became the mainstream, when it became easily accessible for the people. And I believe 
The same thing needs to be done with the rocket science. We would need masses to be working and thinking on it. We would need more people to have hands-on experience so that innovations can multiply at an exponential rate. So now the question stands, how do we make rocket building accessible to everyone? That is the reason why I am here, to answer that question. An answer is that it already is. I built my first rocket when I was nine years old. It went 120 meters up into the sky. I started a rocket club in Surat named Space Technology and Aeronautical Rocketry, or you can call it STAR, along with three other people. We set out and tried making some professional rockets. After plenty of failures, we had our first successful launch in January 2016. Let me remind you, I come from an electronics engineering background. Even none of my team members have any traditional degree in rocket science or aerospace engineering. So now, how we were able to do it? Everything that you require to build a rocket is easily accessible in the public domain, except money. But the money part comes quite late in the picture. So, rocketry can be divided into two parts. The first one is the model rocketry, and the second one is advanced rocketry. There are a few books that I would like to suggest to you. The first one, the model rocket design and construction. It is one of the best books for the beginners who wants to start from the small rockets. It covers the topics like stability parameters, types of recovery systems, types of the raw materials required to build a rocket. It will guide you to how to build your own multi-stage rockets. The second book, it is Rocket Propulsion Elements. It is for the advanced rocketry. It, it, it mainly includes topics like the basic propulsion system that are required for, to launch a rocket, like the solid propulsion systems, the liquid propulsion systems, even the nuclear propulsion systems, and the electronics propulsion system. The, another book is The Fundamentals of Astrodynamics. Now, astrodynamics is basically a study that deals with the motion of the spacecraft or a rocket. So this book guides you to learn about the different kind of parameters that are important to design your orbit. It will give you the brief idea about the orbital permutations and its analysis. And it contains a detailed study about the interplanetary missions and the lunar missions. There are a few YouTube channels that will give you little crux about the rocket designing. The first one is Max Thrust RC. It gives you basic idea about how you can build your own model rocket and assemble it. And the second channel is Mike Thompson. It gives you basic idea about how to design a stable rocket, what all parameters are required to make your rocket stable. So now, I do not wonder that how we are going to touch the stars that lay beyond. As I know, we can, and I know we are going to do. I want you to tell yourself, just like Neil Armstrong did, it is a small step for man, a giant leap for the mankind. So rocket science is not the rocket science anymore. Thank you. <laughs>